Hi, hi guys, how you doing? I'm coming to you with my one month postpartum postpartum update. Um, yeah, you guys. Uh, here's Chi Chi and Chunky. You gonna say hi? Hi guys. So, um, for Chi Chi. She, you know how we had to wait till she was, uh, you know how the Out nurses. Out your belly. Yeah, she had in my belly. You remember how they told me to wait till she's a month to try to uh, nurse her on the breast? Well, we've been doing that, and she, she's able to, to, to latch on. But the thing is, when she wants it to go in her mouth, she, she doesn't open her mouth all the way. She um she just puts the tip in, y'all. It hurts so bad. It hurts so bad. So then I try to wait till she opens her mouth wide, cause they told me to do wait till she opens her mouth wide, and then I put it in there. But she does her lips like this when it's in her mouth. She goes, oh my goodness, y'all! It hurts so bad, huh? Try to kiss me. Try to kiss you. Yeah. So when she nurses, she does thirty minutes on each boob, which is good. And uh, what I do, I nurse her here, burp her, then nurse her on the other side. Okay, guys. Um, both of my girls really enjoy watching YouTube. What they do, they are laying in the bed, and you know, Chunky will hold the phone and they'll watch YouTube. Now, when Chunky falls asleep, you know, when she falls asleep, her hand falls, and Chi Chi gets mad. She wants, she wants to keep watching, so. What I'll do, I'll pick up the phone and um, I'll hold it for Chi Chi and let her finish watching whatever they were watching. But sometimes I'll be sleepy too, so I put my hand down because I'm going to go to sleep. And Chi Chi gets mad. She's like, hey, somebody picked it up. I'm not finished. I'm not finished watching it. Like, she really enjoys watching YouTube. I think it's the colors or something. I don't know. But both of them enjoy watching YouTube. Uh, Chi Chi, she went to her, her one month, uh, doctor's appointment and it went very well, but what got me is the doctor, he tried to tickle her, like, you know, I think that she's too young to be tickled, like, she was just, he kept on trying to tickle her and she was just looking at him like, what are you doing? Like, y'all tell me what, what age is it okay to tickle? Because to me, a baby is too young. You know, a newborn baby, to me, that's too young to be trying to tickle them. Like, she, when she laughs and stuff, it's because of stuff that she's looking at, not because somebody's actually tickling her. Uh, I don't know. I thought that was weird. Uh... Okay, another thing Chi Chi likes to do is hum. Y'all, she enjoys humming. Like when she's in her bassinet or in her, like whenever she's laying on something, she just, she'll sit there and hum just, and I'm okay with it because, you know, it keeps her calm. But I don't know, I think it's cute. And sometimes she does it in her sleep. Like when she sleeps, she'll be something humming. Another thing Chi Chi has started doing is clearing her throat, you guys. She clears her throat when she's trying to get your attention. So sometimes I'm asleep. Like, like the other day, you guys, I was asleep. I kept hearing. <clears throat> <clears throat> And I thought it was part of my dream. So, I'm, you know, I'm in my dream. I'm like, why does lady keep cleaning her throat? And then that's when Jesus was like, girl, that's your baby that's cleaning her throat. So, I woke up, I opened my eyes, and I look at Chi Chi. And I'm like, is that you? And she's like, <clears throat> like, she just, yeah, kept clearing her throat, trying to wake me up. And that's what she do. When she's trying to get someone's attention, she clears no, her throat. Yeah, she do it for you too. Like she, when she wants to get our attention, you guys, she clears her throat. Uh, I don't know. It's it's cute. It's funny. It's like 
<laughs> but yeah, it, I never heard a baby doing it. I never, you know. <laughs> but yeah, that's what's been up with Chi Chi. She, um, her sister, she loves when her sister is around her. If her sister walks away from her, she looks around like, where are you going? Come back. Or it, it it's just crazy that their relationship, they're very close. <clears throat> Chunky does everything for her. Every time Chi Chi makes a sound, like clear her throat, here comes Chunky a running. Chi Chi, you need something? What's wrong, Chi Chi? <laughs> I don't know. I love their relationship. I'm glad they're close. Okay. Now let me tell you about me. You guys. How how do you get out of the house on time when you have multiple kids? Like, I wake up super early to get ready, to get dressed. And me too. Yeah, we all wake up early. And Chi Chi. And Chi Chi. And we get ready. And I'm like, okay, let's go. We're ready. And the mom. And then it's... I don't know, you know, you got to check the diaper bag, make sure you have everything. Like, I always put the diaper bag together at nighttime, so it's ready in the daytime. I don't know, it's just, no matter how early I wake up, we still leave the house late, later than what I want. Because I, I hate getting to places late. I hate, I hate with a passion. I hate being late, you guys. Wait a minute. I know why we be late. My husband, right? Your dad, what you Go get some tissue. I have burgers. Okay, go get some tissue. Just sitting up for digging, uh, looking for gold. <laughs> but yeah, her daddy makes us late because we, the three of us, the females, we be ready. You know, we wake up super early and we get ready. And her dad, he, he's just slow, man. He be in the bathroom forever and he just takes his time getting ready. But yeah, my body. My, my, like, my hips, they hurt if I'm walking too long. Like, I don't, yeah, I'm so ready to go to the doctor for them to clear me so I can start exercising because I need to build my strength up because, yeah, my, my hips, they, when I'm walking too long, they start to hurt and, you know, y'all know how when I was pregnant, I had to uh, ride on the little cart. Thing. Well, now that I had Chi Chi, like if we go to the store, I'm I able to. to yeah, I'm glad. Like, we, I'm able to walk. Mommy, Chi but after a while, I have to sit down. Because I don't know, it's like my yeah. hips, they just, they're not strong. And my legs don't be strong. My legs start hurting and everything. So I definitely got to build my strength back up. Um, She's looking. Yeah, she's looking at the ceiling fan. But besides that, my body feels good. I'm able to eat everything, you guys. I'm back to eating potatoes because when I was pregnant, I could not eat potatoes. So I'm back to eating uh, baked potato yeah, every day. She, she can't eat that. Yeah, she can't eat that. And then uh, I'm back to drinking tea. Y'all know I love me some tea. Well, she can't eat tea. So I'm back to drinking tea. Uh... Well, cold tea. As far as, y'all know how I used to drink tea and coffee before bed to help me sleep? Well, I don't do that because I don't, I don't want to go to sleep. I'm scared to go to sleep. Like, I know I need sleep, but I just, I got to keep an eye on my girls. Make sure everything's okay. Um, and that's another thing. Like, uh, Chi Chi, when she's, when you lay her on her back, I told y'all, ever since she was, what, two weeks, she'll roll, she rolls over to her belly. And that scares me because when, once she rolls over to her belly, she's not able to roll back the other way. And I'm afraid that she's going to smother herself. Uh, you know, just, I'm just afraid. So I have to stay awake to make sure she does not uh, roll on her, her belly. 
Or sometimes what she'll do is she'll roll and she'll just lay on her side. And that helps out a lot when she's on her side. But I still be paranoid, paranoid about going to sleep because I'll be like, what if, I don't know, she rolls over to her face and smother My herself. Face. Yeah, your face. So, yeah, that that's, I don't know. I don't know when I'm going to be able to sleep. I know I need sleep. I know I do. Good thing is I have been eating more. Um, like, you know, I put a reminder in my planner to tell me to eat. So I, I at least get something to eat. Like a little snack. I'll eat like a honey bun or something. Or um, what I try to do after I finish cooking and I, and I feed. See, this is how I do. I feed Chi Chi first. And then I feed Chunky. And then if I remember, I will eat. But sometimes there's things that need to be done. Like the girls that need something and I forget to eat. But I at least try to eat like a snack or something. So yeah, you guys, that's it for my one month update. I thank you guys for watching. And I hope you're having a blessed day. Chi Chi, you want to tell them hi? <laughs> say bye, you guys. Chunky, you gonna say bye? Bye, guys. But yeah, you guys, thanks for watching.